Streusel topped cinnamon spice perfection coffee cake is the perfect breakfast or dessert, and today I'm showing you how to make it. Basically, we've got three components to the perfect coffee cake. We have our cake batter, we have our cinnamon layer in the middle, and we have the beloved streusel topping. If you have a well-stocked pantry with butter, flour, sugar, then the only thing you might have to pick up at the store is my secret ingredient to this coffee cake, which is sour cream. This is going to make this not dry. Going in with flour and three quarter cup brown sugar, and then one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. The flour is gonna keep the sugar mixture separate from the cake. Cinnamon layer done, onto the streusel topping. All right, same ingredients. Remember when we made that delicious apple crisp and it just has that really simple topping of flour, butter, and sugar? That's what a streusel topping is. One cup of flour, one cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and to this I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Gonna mix this up with a fork and then I'm gonna work in my butter. It helps to cut your butter into smaller pieces. You wanna be sure your butter has been softened. Work it with the forks or your fingers until you get just a good crumbly mixture. You wanna to try to get the butter as evenly mixed into the flour and sugar mixture as possible. It's just gonna make for a better consistency in your streusel topping. My mom got me into really eating cake for breakfast, just like all good mothers. And she would always get that box. You know the box I'm talking about? It's blue and white, coffee cake. And I used to love to have that for breakfast. I also drank coffee as a kid. Two of the three of my kids also enjoy a little coffee in the morning but we get that coffee straight from my coffee pot in my kitchen. There's no weekly trips to Starbucks for my 11 year old. All right, this is what you want. You want it to resemble some coarse, wet sand. Easy peasy. Now onto the cake batter. We're gonna start by mixing our dry ingredients. I'll start with three and a half cups of all purpose flour. Remember to spoon your flour into your measuring cup instead of digging in with your measuring cup so that you don't get more flour than you actually need. This kind of cake is just easy. There's just something a little less intimidating when you make something just in a nine by 13 and you don't have multiple cake pans, but also because it can just be made with stuff I already have on hand. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of just baking powder, quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'll whisk that together so everything's incorporated evenly. Now I'll start with our wet ingredients. I'm gonna do two sticks of butter and one and a half cups of sugar. Get that going in your stand mixer. Next, add in three eggs. Stop about halfway through and scrape down the sides. Next, I'm gonna add in my flour and milk and blend that until it's combined. Finally, we'll stir in the sour cream and some vanilla, and that's it. Now, time to put it all together. You'll wanna spray your pan, and then we're going in with half of the cake batter. Spread that out into an even layer. And now we sprinkle over that cinnamon layer, and now the rest of our batter. You wanna be careful not to mix that cinnamon sugar into this layer. So just spread from the top. And now it's time to sprinkle on my favorite part. Spread it out and then ever so lightly press it down. It's funny how a coffee cake doesn't have any coffee in it, but when it was created, it was to have alongside coffee. It was right when coffee was introduced in Europe and they wanted something a little sweet to go with that new creation and it just paired so perfectly. So people started getting together for caffeine and sugar and gossip, similar to how we do today at coffee shops. This goes in uncovered 350 degrees for about 40 minutes or until when you put a toothpick in the middle, it comes out clean. It's ready. Now that, my friends, is a coffee cake. Now the hardest part, we need to let it cool completely before we get into it. In the meantime, get that pot of coffee on. Y'all know exactly what I'm gonna say right now. Perfect bite. Mm. That cake is so tender and it's so moist. So, I mean, it, it really like melts in your mouth. You've got that ribbon of cinnamon going through and then don't even get me started on this crunchy topping. This is the perfect recipe for you to make and have on hand all holiday season. If you're not already, be sure you're subscribed and let me know in the comments below what you want to see me teach you how to make next. When it comes to the most perfect coffee cake ever, you can cook that.